everyone, aiming for more Slay Aspire. Going in as a silent run. Now I'm super, oh, I'm super annoyed. Cause I had, okay, I had a silent run. A silent run's going really, really, really well, because I started with Unceasing Top, very powerful relic. Potentially very powerful relic. But I didn't get any kind of cards to support it. I then died before I got halfway up the first to the first boss. So I guess it wasn't going really, really well. It just had so much potential on Unceasing Top. And then I ran to a Gremlin Knob, which killed me, and I was real sad. So I don't get any bonuses off our whale, because I rage quit. And I was going to do a defect run. And then I was, like, muttering nonsense. I'm like, I can't, what am I talking about? Where am I? So I cut that down, took a break, had some water, came back. Because it's late. Because, of course, it's late when I'm doing this. Um, I had... I'm a sleepy man doing a thing at a... I'm designing something which is either going to be a world-changing revolutionary business that makes me incredibly wealthy, hopefully, or, very likely, it's just, like, nothing and you never hear me talk about it again. But if it's that, you know, if it's the good one, whew, oh man, it's very exciting. But when I was, uh, sending some of the mock designs to, to the guy, I was like, these were, forgive the, uh, questionable qualities are made by a sleepy man no design experience it's often how I feel when I play when I play Slay the Spire sometimes with the, the fiasco I just had the past it was only like 10 minutes with that very very short silent and defect run hey Cloak and Daggers a decent enough card pretty much all the time I really really like this card Take one damage. I really like unceasing top. I'm so like you. It's such a potentially, uh, potentially such a strong card, and it's gone, gone baby, gone. Or a relic, not card. Unceasing top, of course, is a relic and not a card. Cause then you get a bunch of like discards, and then the discards aren't really anything. Cause you just draw new cards, get a bunch of energy gain. It can be very, very. You can really pop off with that thing. Upgrade two random cards with some HP. Let's go. Dagger Spear upgraded. Awesome. I don't want to lose more HP. You know, there's, you know get, 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 leave the gold. It's not worth it. Upgrade. Oh, upgrade a card. Yes, please. All right. Our elite fight is some sentries. A much gentler elite fight, I have to say. Don't know why I targeted that guy. It's not our target. You're our target. 9 HP shouldn't be hard to knock down. Then, hey, 9, 26, 29. At least we got him in a, some sort of in a logical order. Except I can't actually kill him this turn. So I'll just fully block the attack. The very least, fully not take any damage here. Alright, down, and now we should be set, so. Love fighting the sentries, because they're probably the easiest to leave fight in the game. And let's just take no damage and kill this guy next turn. Be very cautious of our HP, very protective of our HP. Six, twelve, fourteen. Well, okay, I'm gonna take some damage here to a two health enemy. Sad, but nothing I can do about it there. Mango gives some extra HP. Choke is fine and goes okay with like a shiv roll or shiv roll. They're just not dodge all the shiv build. Let's take a choke. Get in here. We'll see how it works out for us. Hopefully, well. Maybe I should just upgrade a choke there. Level a gavelin. Yeah, I think I'm gonna open up some damage here, so wakey wakey. Not if we have any powers or anything we're waiting for. Gav here, Sender's Bane. Looking for my choke. There's my choke. It's a big choke. We draw some cards. I'm looking for. I was looking for a cloak and dagger. Still gives us a ton of damage that turn. Take full 15. But now he's not doing anything. He has 15 HP left. We are minus strength, though. But it doesn't matter, it's gone. Did Legoblin. Alright. 
bronze scales maybe it should be more defensive i like escape plan pretty innocuous card oh boy oh boy oh boy scoob did branch how do i make did branch work have i ever made did branch work as silent it always seems to come around as or when i'm playing bucka bucka that other guy <laughs> The Iron Glad. Um, another escape plan or more shivs? Probably more shivs for the Dead Branch combos. Let's upgrade that other Cloak and Dagger. And then let's proceed and go fight another Elite fight, which is another Sentry fight. Hey, you just gave me a Dagger Spray. That's nice. And I do want to block this damage, though. A little quick slash, you're a decent enough card. If we're gonna, we're gonna, we can take a lot of cards if we're gonna have a deck that's full of random cards off Dead Branch. Then our deck's gonna be huge no matter what. So I can just, I don't have to be, I don't, I feel like I don't need to be super picky about what cards I am uh, choosing to add to our deck. Ah, I was hoping for. Some sort of zero cost. I take nine damage here. To why wow, wow, has one health left? Ugh, dirty. I don't like that at all. Try to stop you from hitting me. This upcoming turn. Uh, I don't need to play that. Even if Blades would be fine as an actual card in this deck. Backstab Exhaust and starts in my hand and is an okay card anyway. Do I want to fight extra Lee or just want to heal? I don't want to risk this run in a dumb way. That's an extra heal. I think I want to upgrade because we can heal and upgrade that way. You get upgraded. You just do more damage. What about you upgraded? 5 HP. It's okay. Um, Maybe I should just go big, go home. Or if the slaver fight goes terribly, just go home. Really hoping for... Really hoping for the weekend. I guess I can throw a weak potion at him. It's a little overkill, though. We'll just strike him. Oh, he has 15 health left. We have Eviscerate right in our hand. Don't need any of these. Prepared's okay. Yo, if we just get a bunch of shivs, our decks, our hands gonna be, uh, our game plan is gonna be working off uh, exhaust or random cards anyway off the branch. I, think I do want. Well, we don't need weak. I'm just hit him. We have a weak potion for that. <laughs> I'm a monster. I'm neutralized. You're not having any extra energy, though. That exhaust is a random card. Unlike to be anything too useful. I'm just going to cut my losses and take whatever damage we're going to take this turn. Alright, not too bad. And I get Omori. Not immediately good, but not a bad card. I don't think we need another choke. One choke is a lot. Uh, dagger throw gives some card draw. Do I need the card draw? I don't know. I feel like our card. We're going to have so many random cards. And I want more cards to boost random cards. I just want it to be random badness. Well, should play that first. Alright, not a bad first turn. Broke him at a really bad level of HP. Tools of the trade or dagger spray. Well, I want damage out here, so yeah. We really desperately need more energy. I 
Right, you're interrupted. Let's grab a random power po- we, yeah, I can't- they're not- I can't poison them. Please. <laughs> Catalysts, please. I can't- they're not being poisoned. It's not gonna happen. Alright, we have to get a power. Retain after midship like that first. So that would take a lot of unnecessary damage here. We're also weakened. Okay. Take a little bit of damage here. Six damage thorns. That's a lot of thorns. Stop making me frail. I really don't appreciate it. Don't choke this guy. I do want to choke that guy by cloak and dagger. This guy. That worked out very well. Our deck is just a mess. How do we filter out? The, the thing about doing this the ironclad is that you get the corruption, which naturally filters your deck for you. No worries. How do you do that? How, how does that work as a silent? How do you do that as a silent? Or do you even bother? After mid I like. Yes, because we got Omori. So Omori, we only have one curse. We get yes. Oh, so good, nice little combo, and uh, that's a very good defensive relic. Well, if Dead Branch is ever gonna work, now's the time. One, two. Ah, eh, we healed up pretty well. Is there any other shops or any other really good routes? I think I can get three elites and a shop. If I go up this way, I can get two elites. One. Wait, hold on, one? Can I get one if I go that way? One, two, I really I have to choose between Elite and a shop. We have enough money and I want to remove the card. I'll probably go, oh, I'll just shop here. One, two, we can try that route. It's much more aggressive. There's no way for me to get an early shop that I can use. Yeah, and then if I change the mine, go there. Wait, that's only two. So I'm getting to two if I want the shop. No, we can get three. What are you talking about? You can get three. It's just a very aggressive maneuver. My hand is full. Okay, you, the mugger, leaves first, I believe. I don't need a, a, a strike. Then you take three damage, so I shit you. All right, he's dead. Whole bunch of guards in my deck now. I feel like Sneko would be really chaotic. Corpse Explosion, not like the best card right now. Because you don't have any poison at all, I don't think. Ouch. Eight damage. If I draw no damage, I'm gonna be very upset. Didn't happen though. Play dance. Give me those shivs, baby. Also, give me. Where's my energy? Girl? I need some energy. You're terrifying, face trader. Serve around face statue now. Facing a closer expression on a statue, but a statuesque gaunt man. Is he even breathing? Face. Let me touch. Maybe trade. Touch. Touch trade leave. Um, fifty percent good, fifty percent bad. Well, this is a. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> this is a. An event I haven't had before. So I'm gonna trade half half. Whenever you enter a question mark room, gain money. Okay, cool. For me, for me, yes, yes. Mm, you see one of his arms look at your faces in his hand. Your face has been swapped. So now I have a serpent face. That's really cool. I, so I guess that's one of the good ones because it's a way for me to gain more money. I'm not sure what the bad ones would be. Maybe whenever you enter a question mark room, lose 50 gold, something like that. Not exactly that. I would put, possibly, but I wouldn't expect it necessarily to be. We have lots of shoes, so I'm down for some accuracy. And also down for some apotheosis and some oddly smooth stones. Do that, that, and I think we leave. No, wait, card removal, you, 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 It's one of the main reasons we're coming here. Alright. First up, let's weaken you. Then we shiv you. And then I shiv you. 
So now I shiv you. And then we... We <laughs> set up a nightmare? Or set up a eviscerate? Well, we can just cloak and dagger and see what comes out. Ooh, a thousand cuts, that's fun. Slice getting lots of damage out of here. Let's set up the eviscerate. Cause that seems fun. Had to take oh no damage because I honestly didn't even notice the intangible. It's a nice little bit of damage. Some free block. Alright, a uh, nice shield parasite fight. Pretty chill. Skill potion. Snack oil. I don't think this is a appropriate deck for snack snack oil. Uh, this exhaust adds a lot of cards. We have so much card advantage. We just need more energy. Offer gold. Remove a card. Yeah, we can remove some trash card. There you go. I have one of those strikes. Now I think we want to go elite because we're doing all right. So might as well. This might be skill potion time. Ah. Okay, his friends are dead. Concentrate's great in this specific, specific scenario here. Um, I don't think any more card draw except for you can give me the card. Let's give her that strike. Gives us six energy. I can now choke you. Shiv you. Distraction for random cards, which gives us more cards. Gonna be nice power here to gain more. Uh, block. Weaken you. Cloak and daggers, a lot more additional damage, plus more plays that are free. We take zero damage, have done health a healthy amount of damage. Wraith form? At least as a finisher. I don't think we'll need it, but it could end up being very good. Get you that poison. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, we're already in Tangible's turn, so I'm definitely don't worry about Wraith form. Is that it? Oh, that's bad. 5-4. Um, strike home is not good enough. Not what I was hoping for, but I guess Crippling Cloud being freeze. Great. I can just poison you so I don't get... I do get weakened? Why is he not Oh, I miscounted somewhere. He's not, he's not dead. Maybe I should have kept Storm of Steel. Bunch of random cards. Oh, he killed himself anyway. I guess I'm not weakened. I was just very... It could have happened. Getting energy is great, but I have nothing to exhaust. So in this instance, it's not so great. We'll keep it, though. Concentrate is going to be really good. So there's so much card advantage having someone like Concentrate. So in these rare times, Concentrate's actually like, hey, that's a good idea. That works. Uh, I don't think we uh, that regular striking anything. Or will I? Um, we need to concentrate. So, there we go. One, two, three. Do three energy. We acrobatics. Uh, I discard the defend. Sneaky strike you. Add a shiv. Which I don't know what I was hoping for there. You can keep it Venom, though. This guy only has 3 HP, which is nothing. Especially because I can just dag or spray. Ah, I've only had one more energy. I only need him dead, so it doesn't matter, I suppose. Our great hourglass, more damage. Yes. Yeah, it's an easy yes, right? I think so. 
Move all strikes, retain five bites. Do I, this is such an intimidating event. I hate taking it. A lot of serpent head gold off that, though. All right, so here we accuracy, clearly. We deal damage, we deal damage, we deal damage, deal damage. Gain some block, weaken you, we should be fine. Uh, then infinite blades for more damage every turn and more dead branch plays. Sounds good. Then I will choke you. And I think, yeah, three, six, nine. You get choked to death while I stab the mystic. Can I get a concentrate, like some natural concentrates? It's <laughs> a lot of turns, or I just need energy. I don't have it. Oh, I take damage. Why six poison? At least I applied the poison. I used to not apply poison. Cook and Dagger, welcome to the team. To no longer become frail, it's fine by me. This snake plant could be so damaging. It's a decent first turn, and it can't it can't uh, make me frail because of the turnip, but I am also weak. But you're weak too. Get out of here. Have <laughs> there are no other cards in your hand? Ha. <laughs> uh, do I just noxious fumes? I think I just noxious fumes. She's really hurt just off her... Oh, I messed that up. But the poison gets snake plant. Nope, not any of those. Shop or elite? Eh, it's elite, right? We don't have that much money even with our snake head. It was a hard fight, though. Alright, alright. You need to be weakened. Focusing on you. Ooh, accuracy and prison whale both would be solid here. Gain the extra damage. If I cloak and dagger, this guy's dead, so that's probably worth more. That's, that's worth a lot. And then I have no energy. Oh, I need extra energy. I'm not getting any energy, extra energy cards. Or extra energy uh, relics. Yeah, like, some outmaneuvers would be fine, too. Even though not particularly reliable. I've taken a few hits so far. That was the wrong guy to do that to. Ouch. But he's, he's, he's dead. He just, he's so dead. Mummified hand. It's really good if I get some powers. I don't have a lot. Maybe a backflip. Gives me card draw at least. We have so much card draw. And card production. We have a lot of defense. Do I need that much defense though? If I'm just getting random cards. Random cards include... Defensive cards, I have Cloak and Dagger for block anyway. Do I have a Skewer? I don't need a Skewer. I don't have enough energy to ever play a Skewer. I'm just going to skip these cards as well. Did I skip something else? Did I skip... Well, no. Did I skip money or something? I feel like I just skipped a potion. Evidently, I was paying close enough attention. Let's go... This way. Oh, hello. Unexpected shop. Maybe play a power attack skill same turn, remove all debuffs. Oh, Ice Cream's right here. Oh, I need it. There's you can't. I wish you. I wish there was a way to sell or gain money in the shop because this is this. I think we would win, 
Honestly, if we had ice cream, that'd be so intense. Uh, I don't have any curses or anything I'd really need to remove, do I? Nope. Uh, a lantern's honestly not a bad idea. Oh, concentrate. Talk about how that would be great. And Panacea, I like. But let's just take Lantern. So we come here and we sleep. Get a hey, Bag Marvel's good card. Upgrade a card. How much does this is discard two and gain energy? Do I want to discard three? I feel like I want to discard three. Innate, yes. After image innate, switch the month I can get in here right now. All right, you collector. All right, so we innate that, and we just start punching this guy. All right, so far so good. Lots of unloads and unnecessary power I don't need right now. Uh, do not need the survivor. Do not need this defend. Fucking dagger, good. Welcome to the party. Otherwise, 14 damage. 21 damage. Well, I could gain a little bit of energy next turn. A that gave free eviscerate as well. That was the right play, I think. Now have to deal with his friends, who aren't going to be as nice, I believe. Let's choke. Escape plan. I don't think it is time to concentrate. Although, you know, it's only three cards. One, two, three. It just lets me play two cards. Which I want to play my defend. Clearly, alright. Oh, we should draw more cards. This is what I really should do here. Okay, that's that's much better. Almost started taking some damage for no reason. Uh, accuracy. So good mummified hand, especially. Phantasmal killer, you don't say. Uh, choke. If I get some shivs, that could be a lot of damage we put out. Not a ton, but I think enough. That was okay. It wasn't super exciting. Don't even want to keep phantasmal. I probably, I possibly can discard something. I'll keep phantasmal, although I doubt I'll be able to play it. Maybe I should have just kept sneaky. Because I also doubt I'll be able to play that, but it's a little more likely that I would be able to. Well, not getting my... Uh, I should have drank my Ancient Potion before that debuff. Alright, we could... Yeah, it's not that... It's not that bad. 13 damage, not great, but whatever, I've taken a lot more damage in the past. Not an exciting turn. For, for anyone involved there. Still weakened. Oh, that's a lot of damage still coming my way. Dagger spray? Ah, real holes. It's only 15 damage. That's only 12 damage. It also only costs one. Okay. A uh, slightly harder boss fight than I really wanted. Adrenaline for sure. Thank you for finally giving me some more energy. Oh, and more energy? Yes. Yes, because we so desperately need energy. Get get in here. Donu and Dekka, probably my favorite boss to fight because I think they might be the easiest. 
I don't have a scientific, you know, determination on that. This left side looks promising. I'm not going to overanalyze the situation. Or do I want a late shot? I don't think I really want a late shot. And these question marks could also be shots. So would be great for my serpent head. So let's go early shot. Maybe get something cool. That's a nice dagger spray. Get one dead. Boy, I can't even get potions. So just one left at 2 HP plus his block. And we have a poison in our hand, so he's dead. That's the end of that. Concentrate, yes. Energy in my deck. Do another killer... Another killer uh, relic that we can't afford. I, I like artifact. And also, some of the skills being upgraded. Endless Agony is working really well because it uh, replaces it cycles itself easily. I don't have anything to remove, so I think I just take a Panacea because the same idea. It costs zero and cycles itself. It's a decent enough card. Now we're gonna go here for more money, even though money's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I just spent my money. Give me that red mask. We have, wow. So I'm gonna play after image, and it's gonna hit defend because all our other cards got zero. And now another card costs zero, and another card costs zero, which is a power, which means this card also got zero. Uh, boop. Poison stab. Would then calculate a gamble? Because I don't need the energy that bad. Alright, almost one shot the Reptomancer. I don't even know what I'm looking for there. Just had a card I could play, so I did. And you did the Mercury Hourglass, aren't you? Yeah. Never mind, see you later. Cloak and daggers. A lot of cloak and daggers there floating around. Maybe two men. Eh, we have three. We can fit in one more. It's not upgraded though, but eh, we can fit in another one. Courier. Unlikely to matter. So I don't have any other guaranteed shops. Let's focus down the weaker one. Get these cards that cycle out of my way. I don't believe that I've discarded anything. Uh, free setup. I can set up a predator. And play Hoppelganger for extra energy and draw before I unload on you. And we take zero damage. Cool. A couple burns floating around now, though. Mercury Hourglass. I can just one-shot you. I start punching this guy around. A thousand cuts in particular. It's nice taking more damage. We just have so much damage on him with a lot of block being generated. Now this is how... That's not the card I wanted to play. We're still fine, though. Just... It's fine. <laughs> as long as I don't take any damage this, uh, this turn, so I shouldn't. All right, easy, easy play. Now we get it whenever you get a skill card is upgraded. Thank you, Toxic Egg. I don't really want Doppelganger though, or another Dagger Spray, or Deadly Poison. So I skip these. I go here to upgrade a card. What card would we upgrade? One of our Cloaks and Daggers. Very likely, maybe Blade Dance. That's Blade Dance only three shoes. Yeah, Adrenaline. Adrenaline. For oh yeah, let's do Adrenaline. Turn. Skip card. Pop up here, upgrade a card, upgrade the adrenaline for more energy. 
more big plays. Alright. Backstab. Neutralize. Shiv. Shiv. Accuracy. Shiv. Cloak and Dagger. Shiv. Uh, it's a free power. Leg Sweep. Sure, why not? Because you could discard it for extra energy, of course. That's why not. Uh, yeah, please be vulnerable forever. That's free. I would like to, yeah, draw a card. It's more damage. One. We'll get rid of the Alchemize. Doesn't do any good. I don't think we discard anything. What is 12 damage five times? Okay. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Dagger Spray. We go... One, two, three. Strike you. And hit you for 13 times five. That's a good opening turn against Giant Head. Hey, he's weakened. He draws us a card. Which then gets us a bunch of blade dances. Which is then, because of time dilation, ramping up the amount of damage we're doing to him per shift. I can set up distraction for. Not well, for free distraction. This is silly. Uh, yeah, okay. Choke him. Concentrate this kind of dream turn I'm talking about. The adrenaline for more. Yeah, alright. 45 damage shit. Woo! Um, not our concentrate or a bullet time, but we can't draw, but that's fine. We're just not doing a ton of drawing, we're actually doing generating off nonsense. So yeah, bullet time, get in here. Stone calendar. It's, uh, we haven't had a lot of time to really form much of an opinion off of it. You are more damage. I don't need just more damage. One energy is fine. Fewer cards is fine. Two artifacts, okay. Distraction being free would be okay, but it does just uh, ex exhaust itself. And I, I, I never mentioned this, but we don't, I mean, we don't want to focus too hard on upgrading cards that exhaust themselves because you only get the benefit of that, uh, benefit of that upgrade the one time. Three shivs might be a good time for a three shiv upgrade for Blade Dance, or even choke upgrade. With hey, you know what? With all the, you know, let's do that. With uh, all the, with how the deck has played out. We can get a lot more damage out of that bonus uh, damage per turn. Because now we have more energy floating around. We get more cards. Yes, it's a shop. Then we have money for that to make sense. I do like hand drill. Frozen eggs, not going to happen. The accuracy is perfect. Like, really perfect. Or Calcom is never going to pop because we have innate, whatever it's called, the innate power. Shadow image. Handrill, I do really like Handrill. Thinking about, I'm just taking Handrill. We can go Elite just fine and heal and fight the boss. I think we'll be no problems at all. Alright. Let's open up on this guy. I didn't accuracy. Ugh. Wait, no, I didn't hit him with a shiv, so it's fine. I did something real dumb. That was not a big of a deal. Okay, Bane, die, die, die. Well, we can poison stab him to Bane him. I don't need the extra energy right now. I can set it up just to draw it next turn because it's not retaining it. Even though it already costs zero. That's an unusual play. Yeah, I could have got some card draw off the expertise. I misplayed that a little bit. Honestly, I've got die to die exhausts. All right, you're weakened. I need to mostly be defensive here. Oh, I discarded my oh, <laughs> twenty damage. Ouch. That's what we're healing for. He's gonna. He should be dead here. I'd be amazed if he survives for much longer. Uh, 
Ah, deal damage to max HP. I didn't realize that was one of the changes to that card. Go draw first. And then we... Zero cost. Zero cost. Reflect. Then we bullet time. Oh, and negated the no draw. Because my artifact. Forgot that was a thing. Can I hit him 18 more times? It's not impossible. At least I'm not going to take any damage. And then we nightmare die die die. So it didn't hit him 18 more times, even with our thorns. But now he's he's very dead. Did hit me harder than I wanted to, and Art of War is not really ever going to apply for us. Head nib though, solid. Add one colors. I don't lose any HP. I'll just add the one colors. Yeah, purity's probably solid and like really good here. Yeah, it's purity. That's like an aggressive purity. Usually, I just use purity like to desperately get rid of bad cards. We can use it to uh, roll some, dip, make some dip branch rolls. All right. We wow, the, oh, their artifacts already. The artifacts already taken off by our relics. I'll play Accuracy, of course. Almost missed that. Start beating on Donu. Get our... Just keep just keep going. Just keep going. If it costs zero, play it. Don't need these powers, for sure. Or energy. Okay, we're getting... Yeah, our hands rule f real fool stuff that I can't play. Um, let's keep our block for next turn. That's an okay play. I can just purity now to get rid of the stuff I'm not going to play. Two, three, four. There we go, let's me play a well laid plans. And a noxious fumes, which is, makes this cloak and dagger free. Don't unload right now. 20 damage to all for one random discard. Draw two first. Or 24 for the choke effect. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, discard three cards. Let's discard Alchemize, Defend, and Survivor. And then keep going with our Pain Train. Which looks like we might be coming to an end soon. Oh, here's some, some more fuel. That thing went dagger spray, all out attack. And that unload if I don't discard it. Which I did not. Alright, almost one shot. Don't do. It's good. It's, it's good. This is not a good turn, though. But he's dead, so it's actually a fine turn. No, I don't need zero cut. Uh, Alright. And Decca's... De De Dex? <laughs> he's, he's, he's a goner. Alright, didn't expect this to be so successful. This is a bad hand, though. That exhaust. Alright, alright, we, we can still make this work, though. We poison him. Also weaken him. We then double his poison, which exhausts for such a thousand cuts? Nah, we, we might play might draw something better. Storm of Steel, perfect. Yeah, he gave me a backstab. A little unexpected bit of extra damage. Choose a card to retain distraction. So he's oh he's almost dead. We actually did it. Dead branch, star of the show. I'm glad I made it work. So um let's just analyze now. I just assume we won. The what made this work, uh, mostly cards and a lot of like just a lot of shivs, a lot of shivs, good relics, um, 
But, I mean, you build up good relics as you go through the run. If you have a good run, well then, if your run's good early on, then it tends to be really good by the end. So I think it's, I guess the start of the show is, yeah, Dead Branch with the, uh, like, Ninja Scroll and additional shivs and exhausting cards. And then also, I suppose, Sozu and a little bit of energy at the end, because really, we were struggling there a little bit without a lot of energy. And then we got a lot of extra energy and things picked up a lot, lot faster after that. Oh, we still have turns like this, where it's not particularly strong. But luckily, he didn't even attack. So, have we perfected this boss? Did we come in here missing 2 HP? Or did we get hit for 2? I, I really don't know. Oh man, I want like bullet time and <laughs> get through all, those, through all those alert cards. Thump, 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 repair daggers and deal. Wow, a, a decent score, 1600. Victory? Ascension mode, level 14 unlocked. Did I. Defeat a boss. Was it that last boss? I think it was the last. I think it was the last boss that we uh, defeated. And that was a cool match. Saw some new relics. Saw a serpent head. Is that the only new relic? I believe so. But it's still a cool relic. It's from an event we hadn't seen yet. So yeah, dope. So a cool run, a successful run, and a dead branch run. A dead branch shiv combo run. My favorite kind of silent run because, I mean, Sans dead branch like combo is the only kind. of run I can have with a silent that works. I'm glad we didn't fight Time Lord. Um, Shivs in particular I really enjoy, but with Dead Branch, which I have much more... It's easier with Ironclad, because obviously he has Corruption, which just makes it easy peasy, but uh, Silent, yeah, we're still able to, like, we're able to draw a little more energy to keep playing those cards, because that's kind of the potential weakness of Dead Branch, is that you're given a bunch of random cards you don't have the energy to play, and then your deck is just a mess. And it it, it it can backfire. It's pretend, the dip range is very powerful, but it can't backfire. And you saw that almost happening, kind of that early mid part of that run, where he kept running out of energy before I could play any of these cards, and I just had a bunch of card, like trash cards I wasn't able to use. But um, it didn't get too bad, and obviously we were able to recover and get that just a couple. Which it didn't take much, right? It just took a couple of ingredients to get the energy to keep cycling a little bit more. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, video, subscribe for more fun. Twitch tags. I'll see you guys next time. And your skirt. Wow, we're almost at. Max Ascension for Silent Doom. Uh, your secure compliment is you'd be a uh, really great... Uh, what was the face? Yeah, yeah, you're that face trader? I'm sure he would love your face. You have an amazingly tradable face. I'll see you later.